Ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about some of the very best VPNs on the market that will serve you well in 2021 and beyond. I'll break down my top three VPN picks and tell you what's good about them, what needs work, what they cost, as well as which VPN is ideal for your unique needs. Oh, and if you want to dig into more details or sign up for one of these VPNs, the links will be in the description down below. Now, I know your time is valuable, so let's just jump right into it. The first VPN on my list is ExpressVPN, and you might have heard of it at some point as it's been one of the tried and tested VPNs over the last decade. What makes ExpressVPN such a compelling option for a wide variety of users is its expansive list of servers to choose from, industry standard encryption, a focus on privacy, and its use of a proprietary VPN connectivity protocol designed by ExpressVPN called Lightway, which offers stable high-speed connections that can save battery across your devices. ExpressVPN boasts over 3,000 servers around the world and delivers these connections over a variety of VPN protocols like Ike v2, OpenVPN, and of course the impressive proprietary lightweight protocol that I alluded to before. In my testing, I found that ExpressVPN routinely delivered a fast, usable internet connection even on very remote servers in different countries, delivering a high-quality connection to support streaming, which ExpressVPN supports handily across Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and pretty much any other service you might want to watch. Oh, and for those of you who are interested or wondering about P2P support, ExpressVPN has you covered with P2P across the board. Furthermore, ExpressVPN has also made a variety of decisions intended to protect its users' privacy, which is increasingly important these days, such as incorporating in a privacy-friendly jurisdiction so that they can legally keep no logs about user traffic and identifying information. And they also run a private domain name resolution service within the VPN server so clever spies can't use DNS queries to sleuth your browsing. ExpressVPN has also doubled down on security by running their VPN servers using RAM or random access memory only, which means that any data that passes through these servers is never permanently stored. It is ephemeral. It is these seemingly small details that makes ExpressVPN a truly premium product amongst a sea of options, which of course means that for someone who's looking for one of the fastest, most stable and reliable VPNs on the market and needs those fast peak speeds, ExpressVPN is a fantastic option for you. You can currently get one year of service on ExpressVPN for a little over eight bucks US a month. But if you use my link down in the description below, you can get an extra three months free on top of that to bring your total monthly cost down to $6.67 a month, give or take, for up to five device connections across any platform on your phone, your computer, router, etc. basically anywhere you want. You can also get your money back within 30 days if you ever change your mind. Now, I would be remiss if I did not mention two big things that I think ExpressVPN can improve on. And the first would be to make their lightweight protocol open source and to put it through a third party security audit. And the second would be to introduce a more variable set of different plans that would allow those who may not need every premium feature to get this excellent service for an even cheaper price. Oh, and finally, the iOS app needs a VPN kill switch. Without a doubt, I wish that was there. Now, for those who are looking for the best value for their money, the most cost-effective VPN, this next pick is for you. Now, the best value for money VPN is none other than Surfshark. It is reasonably priced, it has a great user experience, it's on every platform you can ask for, and it works really, really, really well in terms of speed and stability for what you pay. Surfshark is the VPN that I've been running with for the last couple years now, several years, and it's just continually improved across all facets. Surfshark has thousands of servers across dozens of countries, giving you a wide variety of options when selecting a server to connect to on their app. And as a result of the server growth, the speeds and latency I've been getting are consistently solid, even on remote location servers in most cases. I would also like to shout out the very exciting news about the super speedy and stable WireGuard protocol being launched officially on Surfshark, which is one of the big things that I was looking for as an improvement on the protocol. So this should help improve service further for users. Surfshark is also a win for user experience with its clean, intuitive mobile app and desktop clients. On mobile, the app is really simple, it's quick, and all the important controls are centrally located right where you need them when you open the app so you can get connected and go. On desktop, Chrome, and Firefox, the client is equally well designed, albeit a little bit slower, less snappy than on the mobile side. Within the apps, Surfshark has all sorts of cool features that you can choose to enable, such as application whitelisting, multi-hop connections, ad blockers, and more. 
In the security realm, Surfshark is also right up there with the bigger guys. They have industry standard encryption, small scale security audit under their belt, and because of their location in the British Virgin Islands, they can legally abstain from collecting and storing logs about your internet traffic. But where Surfshark truly shines is in its extremely good value for money. It's really an unbelievable deal. In terms of pricing, Surfshark normally runs at about $12 per month on a month to month plan. That's no commitment, but that price goes down to $5 per month on a one year plan. However, you can use my link down below or a coupon code to get a two year plan at the lowest possible price of just a little over $2 plus an extra four months of service for free. And as I said with ExpressVPN, similarly, you can get 30 days money back guarantee scot-free. The best part with the pricing of Surfshark though is that it is truly unlimited. So for $2 a month, you can get Surfshark VPN on all of your devices, on all of your platforms, even your entire family for that one $2 a month plan. Now, it's not to say the service is perfect. The speeds that you get on Surfshark won't stand up to the bigger guys, the more expensive VPNs that you might find out there. And I found that the multi-hop connections or the long distance connections can sometimes introduce some unmanageable latency for some use cases. All in all, I really do think that Surfshark is one of, if not the best all around VPN packages out there for the money that you pay. But who is it best for? I think that Surfshark is cost effective enough to be a great college student VPN or someone that is just on a budget and wants to protect their family's devices without breaking the bank. If you're looking for a very high performing VPN at a ridiculously low price, this would be your pick. But what if you're looking for a really powerful VPN in a privacy focused VPN that is the perfect sweet spot between the budget friendly Surfshark and the expensive Express VPN? Well, the next pick is just that. And last but not least, the third pick of the day is the CyberGhost VPN, which is a Romania-based VPN service that has blown me away over the last year or so in terms of its growth as a product and as a service. CyberGhost boasts thousands of servers across 89 countries, and to be factually correct, CyberGhost actually has one of the highest server counts of any VPN provider with over 6,000 servers to choose from. Those servers also use the same RAM or random access memory operating model that I talked about with ExpressVPN, which is a nice security oriented feature to protect user data. And speaking of security, CyberGhost, like the others in this video, offers the same industry standard encryption, no logs policy that you'd expect, plus some nice to have features like port randomization and perfect forward secrecy for VPN connections over certain protocols in their app. So these things are great to see that they're taking advantage of these different security options. You can also access what are called no spy servers, which are essentially servers within 100% CyberGhost owned data centers, which offers higher levels of security assurance for a slightly higher price. This basically means they're running your VPN traffic through server infrastructure that they own. In terms of speed, CyberGhost delivers brilliant results with some exceptions being the really remote servers or those that are under some really heavy load. It was able to handle streaming, including 4K YouTube on the new Safari, as well as gaming on optimized servers. Now, another great feature for speed and stability is again the addition of WireGuard, the latest and greatest VPN protocol that I think every VPN company should be working to integrate securely, of course. Of course, this means that on the very nicely designed mobile apps on iOS and Android, one can take advantage of the speedy and efficient WireGuard protocol to blanket their internet traffic with solid encryption as they browse. And again, for those who are wondering, both streaming and P2P are supported very well, and there are even designated servers optimized for specific streaming services so you can get the best possible performance streaming your content. In terms of pricing, CyberGhost lies right in between ExpressVPN and Surfshark, as you might have guessed from my intro, with the month-to-month -month plan costing a similar $12.99. One-year plans cost $4 per month, and two-year plans costing $3.50 a month. For the three-year plan though, one can get that price down to $2.25 per month using my link in the description below, which will also net you an additional three months of service on top. So that's 39 months of VPN protection with CyberGhost for a little over $2 per month. Each license comes with a 45 day money back guarantee and will allow you to connect seven devices to the CyberGhost network, which should be plenty for most users. Even if you don't go for the super, super long-term plan, which is that lowest possible price, but of course a long commitment, 
for three or four bucks a month for CyberGhost, I think you're paying for a really solid VPN in my humble opinion. So all of that, whether you decide to go for a shorter term plan or a longer term plan, that is all up to personal preference. But in fairness, there are some little things that I don't love about CyberGhost. The Apple apps maybe are a little bit behind the curve in terms of features than some of the other apps out there. And there are too many different types of servers that it could be hard for a new user to know what server to use with virtual servers, no spy servers, streaming or P2P servers, etc. In fairness, other VPNs have this issue too, but maybe even just a little UI tweak to the apps could help ameliorate this small, small problem with CyberGhost, causing maybe some user confusion. Now, I hope this has been helpful in aiding your selection of a VPN, and I'm always happy to answer any questions that you might have about VPNs or the picks in this video. I will link up some other content related to VPNs and personal information security here on the video screen if you have some time to stick around. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, cheers.